What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. We're picking up where we left off from the last video. I've got the engine transmission and transfer case sitting back in the truck. Today I'm going to work on getting all the accessories mounted where they need to be, all the bolt-on parts and pieces, so I can start mocking up and fabricating my exhaust. Alright everybody, so first little bit of adjustment. I'm getting everything connected under the truck, the transmission shifter, stuff like that. This is the uh, torque converter cover off the Turbo 400 and it hits the back of the engine. You can see that little step up there around where the rear main seal goes. Uh, the six liter engines are flat on the back. So you can see here I drew a line. I'm just gonna cut out around that line to remove the bumped out piece. It looks like from the inside the torque converter bolts came loose and chewed into this thing at some point anyway. So I don't feel bad cutting it and I'm sure it'll still add plenty of strength to the transmission bell housing like it's supposed to. Okay, you've heard me say it a thousand times, it's easier to cut more off than it is to put it back. Made our arch cut here, still doesn't fit. This part of the of the cover here is still contacting the back of the oil pan. So I'm gonna notch a little bit more out, like on this 4L80E cover, probably down about here, and then make another nice arch and back up again and see if that fits. So just keep adjusting, trim, cut, trim, cut until I get it to fit the way I want. I wanna keep as much material on this cover as I can for strength. All right, we got our second trim up done. I'm pretty sure it'll fit now, we'll give it a shot. Close. We gotta make one more little adjustment right here. There's a little bump out. We'll trim that little notch out and then we'll be good. All right, we got our transmission shifter linkage hooked up. We got our torque converter cover all modified and in place. We got our transfer case linkage hooked up. All we need to do is get our vacuum modulator line hooked up and then get our starter put back in. And I'm also gonna connect the oil cooler lines back on the driver's side just to make sure I don't accidentally route too close to that. All right, everybody, a little update. We've got our, we've got our oil cooler lines put where they go. Uh, I just have them looped into each other for now. I'm not gonna add the actual lines that go to the oil cooler until I get the whole front end back on uh, and the actual radiator in place. I'm getting ready to sit my alternator and power steering bracket back onto the frame. Now, so far it looks like it's gonna fit. The only thing I've had to change was this return line to the pump. Uh, I bent it upwards a little bit. It was just barely contacting the frame. And this is the original power steering pump line from the 6.2 engine. Uh, GM hasn't changed the, the pressure fitting in the back of their pumps in like a decade. So it's the same fitting that goes into the pump. It's just got the right bend to clear the frame the way I need it to. So I'm gonna try to get this put up in place now. Okay, so we've got our power steering and alternator bracket mounted up here. Now, I've got a little clearance issue with my pressure hose, but I got plenty of room that I can adjust this and bend it to make it fit. So I'm gonna heat the tubing up here just to make it a little more pliable and then bend my hose forward and up just slightly. So then it'll clear my steering shaft here and I'll still be able to get the uh, the drain from the hydro boost or correction. I'll be able to get the drain from the steering gearbox onto that line. Okay. 
Okay, I've got everything on the driver's side of the engine mocked up where I need it to be, except for the exhaust manifold. So this is the manifold I'm gonna be using. I don't remember what it came off of, but I'm gonna remove the little heat shield here uh, and wire wheel it real quick just to knock, knock some of the nastiness off of the manifold surface and make it a little bit easier to handle and to work with. Okay, so driver's side manifold sitting in place. Looks all right. I've got a tiny clearance issue right back here by the frame, but I'm pretty confident that if I grind this bump out off where the heat shielding bolted on and just a teeny bit here at the flange, I'll have more than enough space. With these urethane motor mounts, the motor really shouldn't move very much. So I don't need to have a ton of room, a ton of clearance around anything. That's one of the perks of having those urethane mounts. All right, so we've got our, our little bump ground off. We took a little bit off the outside edge here. It should fit now. Yeah, that's way better. go all right okay i'm happy with that we've got plenty of room here it's a factory manifold so i know it'll clear the plug wires just fine and now we've got plenty of space down here by the frame i i'm not i'm confident we won't have any issues down there so next thing we'll do get the water pump put on and then same thing on the passenger side and we'll get the intake manifold set on it too making a lot of progress here we got the water pump on alternator and power steering we got the intake manifold ignition coils i still got to do the coils on the other side um heater hoses these are just some hoses i had laying around so oh i got the starter put in it looks like we're going to be pretty tight on this side i mean honestly it's going to be tight on both sides for the exhaust but i have the manifold uh cleaned up and ready to go on here so i'll get that put on all right everybody so i'm working on getting the throttle linked up on this thing I figured while i'm working on everything else i'll get the throttle figured out so this is the cucv throttle pit cable and it goes through a square hole in the firewall you put it in turn it 90 degrees and that locks it in place I thought I was going to be able to use this, but I can't because the end of the throttle cable has this loop instead of having the little uh, tin piece cast onto it like on newer vehicles. I can't use this. It's not worth messing with it. Now, I have a 2001 Tahoe out here that I'm parting out that the pedal end is exactly the same as the CUCV pedal end, except where it goes through the firewall it has a round piece. Well, the tabs that catch on the firewall on the Tahoe are wide enough to catch the ends of the square hole in the CUCV firewall. I just need to square off the other two sides. So I'm gonna grind those square, make that work. And then this literally is a bolt-in 
I mean, snap in piece. It'll, it's the right length. It has the right travel. I, I can't believe how lucky it is that this works out. But if you're gonna put a drive-by cable LS engine into a CUCV, a throttle cable from a drive-by cable Chevy Tahoe is the same length. It's what you need. And you just do a little bit of modification here on the end that goes through the firewall. Just ground those sides flat and it presses in, locks in place, and you're good to go. All right, Quickie. so I've got my Tahoe throttle cable installed. There we go, plugs right into the firewall, just loops up, and then right into the throttle, just like factory. Push the pedal, let it off, push the pedal, let it off. Easy, easy. I'll have to watch the video and see if I'm getting full 100% throttle travel, but I can adjust to get that if I need to. So I'm pretty pumped. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm glad I didn't have to spend a bunch of money to get that figured out. All right, everybody, I think I'm gonna call it for this video. It's been a productive afternoon. Uh, I got the torque converter cover on, the passenger exhaust on, all the accessories on, the starter is on, the water pump is on. Uh, got the heater hoses plumbed up, got my passenger side exhaust manifold bolted up there. Uh, the intake is on, I put the dress up covers on, I really like those so I'm gonna run them. And uh, even got the throttle cable connected. So good productive afternoon, I'm super excited about how, how this thing is progressing along. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I've got some super exciting news in the next video and parts have been coming in every day. So we're gonna keep cranking along on this thing and get it up and running as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Good. Yeah.